In this movie, we're removing and replacing the top and front covers of the Express Card 2000. You'll need a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. The top cover is secured inside the front cover's circular hinges. There are two screws holding these hinges in place, one in either corner of the back wall. The front cover is secured to the base of the Express Card by 10 screws, four along the interior of the hopper side wall, four along the embosser side wall, and two in the front near the card exit assembly. There are a total of seven connection cables. The three sensors on the hopper side, the two sensors on the embosser side, and the VGA and power cables for the LCD monitor. Press and hold the power button on the front of the EC2000 and wait for the machine to shut down completely before you unplug the power and data cables. Unlock the top cover using the key. Slide the cover halfway, then gently pull out one side at a time so that the cover extends all the way out toward the back. Remove card hoppers 1 and 2. Press down on the lever to slide it out and then up. Using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw in the upper right corner of the back wall behind hopper 1. Next, while holding the top cover with one hand, remove the screw in the opposite corner. Once the second screw is removed, the top cover will come out easily. Remove the two bushings from the circular hinges and set them aside with the cover and two screws. Remove the remaining card hoppers. If you need to move the card hopper transport out of the way of the hoppers, gently pull on the belt, not the assembly itself, to move it. There are four screws along the interior of the front cover wall holding the front cover in place. Unthread the first two screws using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver so that the small plastic panel underneath the outer side of the front cover comes loose and can be removed. Once the outer panels come off, you can push the screws up from the outside to remove them. Unthread the other two screws that are toward the front of the machine behind the hoppers. Set the plastic panel aside and remove the screws. There are four more screws securing the front cover on the embosser side. Unthread the first two screws toward the back next to the XY assembly. Once the plastic panel comes off, remove the screws on the inside. Unthread the other two screws near the front, one of which is tucked in the corner behind the embosser. Remove the plastic panel and the screws and set them aside. The last two screws are below the LCD display, adjacent to the foil tipper assembly. On the hopper side, there are three cable connections, the bezel LED sensor, the exception card entry sensor, and the door one sensor down below the hopper baseplate. Remove the two power connections from the LCD, the VGA cable, and the power cable. Next, disconnect the two sensors on the XY assembly side, the top case open sensor in the back, and the door 2 solenoid in the middle. Once all seven sensors are disconnected, carefully pull the front cover out, then up, and set it aside. Make sure any loose cables are out of the way so they don't get caught under the front cover. Grasp the front cover on either side and gently slide it into the front of the EC2000 so that it's resting on the base. There are a total of five sensors and two cables that need to be reconnected. The first three sensors are in the front corner near the card hoppers. Looking below the card hopper baseplate, reconnect the door 1 sensor. Just above it is the exception card entry sensor. The bezel LED sensor connects with the interior of the exception card entry slot. Reconnect the power and VGA cables. The last two sensors are on the XY assembly side, 
Toward the middle is the door 2 solenoid, and in the back is the top case open sensor. Once the two cables and five sensors are reconnected, gently push the card exit tray area of the front cover so that it locks into the base of the EC2000. Reinsert the two screws just below the LCD, adjacent to the foil tipper assembly. The front cover is secured with four screws on either side's interior wall. Insert the two adjacent screws near the front of the express card on the embosser side and line up one of the exterior panel covers so that the diagonal is facing toward the middle. Secure the screws one at a time until the panel cover is flush with the base of the machine. Next, line up the other exterior panel so that its diagonal is facing toward the middle, opposite its counterpart. Reinsert the two screws near the printer so that the second panel cover is flush with the base of the EC2000. Repeat this on the hopper side so that all four screws and the two exterior panel covers are in place and the front cover is secured against the base. Set the bushings into the circular hinges on either side of the front cover. Insert the top cover into the hinges one side at a time. While holding the top cover in place, reinsert the screws on either side of the front cover so that it's secured against the back wall. Reinsert the seven card hoppers. Slide the top cover so that it's almost halfway back and gently insert one side at a time into the top of the front cover so that it can slide all the way closed. 